Hang out with T.G. Omori at Pefty Film Institute. Pefty, bringing out the star. This man is a graduate of this amazing institution. I'm not going to let you know that. If you know that T.G. is a graduate of Pefty, make some noise for T.G. Come on. But he has brought himself to honor us here. A round of applause for Mr. T.G. Omori. You know, this man is a fashionista. There's this very favorite video of him that I like. I think he put his phone at the other side of the car and he's on top of the lamp bridge and he's like, he's just going like this. <laughs> um, I need you guys to tell me about yourself. I'm also going to tell you about myself if you don't know about me. If you want to ask me anything, I'm here today. Today I'm all yours, you know. Use me <laughs> as a 2013, 2014. I was sitting here too, and this is 2023. I'm sitting here again. I initially wanted to do production, you know, but like no camera, no laptop. When I was coming to school, I was thinking about it. When I saw requirements that ah, to be to do TV and television or to do television production. You probably need a camera, you need a laptop. I was like, ah, where I want to see money by a camera and laptop like this. Let me just go and stand on stage and dance. And it was in the process of dancing, acting, and doing my music that I discovered that, oh, you can actually study about cinematography, you can study about editing and all of that without even having these things. That's why there's a school and there's a structure, you know? Sometimes it's never really about what the lecturer is teaching. Sometimes it's you being in the environment with your fellow dreamers. That's something that is priceless. People ask me, my colleagues that graduated together every day text me and be like, how did you do it? Because yo, we all studied in the same class, we all did this. It's about your personal zeal and your dedication, your mindset. As I said, I'm not here today to tell you how to make film. That's why I'm in film school. They are going to teach you all of that. I'm just here to try to give you some the fairest and the most honest truth I can tell you about my life in general on how to uh, be a better person for yourself and for your family. The most important thing is dedication. It's very, very, very important that you are, dedica you are dedicated to what you do. Aside dedication and being focused, you also need to look at the business part of it. Some people see one video shoot today, they don't see another one shoot tomorrow because they don't even know how to offer services. They understand. So people don't even know how to talk to customers. No customer service. From your first one millionaire video, you won't go buy land for a guru. You forget the importance of adding value to your craft. Because so this is art. They understand. You only, it, it appreciates with the amount of investment you put into it. When I got my first music video for the first one year, I was not even focused on trying to make money. But I was very, very particular about making sure that I bought new sneakers. No matter if it be, I could find 25k inside the 500k. Because my must look sharp. In every situation, look sharp. Somebody say, look sharp. Because sharp. there are some certain amount of money I can't trust to it if I'm not looking good. It's very, very important. The first time I went to go and bag in for my first music video, I visited. I buy Timbaland from Koto, new, new one, sharp one. They shine and well. My punk, Richard, I go bab that money. Like my meeting was 12, I had to go and bab around 9 so that the feet no go shake. Iron your shirt. If you don't get new shirt, wash and stash them, iron them. If you don't get like put on that bed, sleep on top and make it straight. Just appear sharp. Somebody say appear sharp. Appear sharp. Stay on the appear sharp. It's very, very good for business. You understand? So yeah, uh, that was going for my first music video conversation or my first trying to get my first music video. I had to make sure I appeared. I had to make sure I appeared. So when I got there, I don't need to talk too much. I just blow small, nice, and learn how to speak properly too. I went there, spoke some few. I mean, 
folks don't feel not so much grandma, you know, just don't feel nice living wife. <laughs> you understand that the manager was sold. You understand? And then was like, okay. Um my guy gave us 700 k for this music video. But now 500 k I won't give you. Me, agent, I'll take 200 k Oga bring them. Do you understand? Don't be like portable, may they rip you. <laughs> Allow them rip you. <laughs> they need to use it for you to be able to use them. You understand? Don't be too smart in these streets. Yeah. So I was like, ah, okay, you define money, me, I define CV. We are now two different things to define. You go chop your money, you go finish. My own, that video of the year, that video I don't get, don't do. You understand? So I got that video, it was like 500k, I rented the red. I've never seen a red camera in my life, but it was it's been my fantasy then to shoot the red camera. I thought if I shoot the red camera, probably the camera, the video will be flying, you know? But I wanted to, I needed behind the scenes with the red. I've never even touched the camera. So for safety, I, for safety purposes, I hired a DOP. Not because I wanted him to shoot, but I needed him to be a supervisor in case I go press port. When I don't go press ISO 1600, when I was supposed to shoot 200, I had the man on standby. I gave him prism. I gave him like 50k. Then inside 500k, I get. I don't go give professional 50k. You understand? So then I had to learn how to edit by force by myself so that I can cut down cost. Because if I go pay another edit of 50k again, that 50k now, I don't use and pay boot set. So you don't make the video full. So I'll, I'll cut out some part of the labor. You feel me? So we did that. We shot the video. Everybody came out. I did everything I could do. The video came out nice. The clients liked it. Liked it. They put it on TV for the first time. I saw my logo. Then I had one punk logo. I saw my logo on TV. That was like in 2016 or 2015. Sound City. I know still that day. The only boy would ever put there. Sound City. TV or more reviews. I was so excited, you know. And since then, it's just been like this. I did not text nobody. People saw it because they saw the work and the effort I put in. Another person called me. My phone rang, somebody called me from Atlanta. Atlanta, international number. He said, I saw a video he shot for one artist. I have an artist in Nigeria. I really like to shoot for him. I have 700k. I said, ah, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> Let's do it. That was how I shot it. Another person, so the guy was shooting the video. Swag, 100%, trust me now. Is it good swag? On full Gaza. The artist came with his friends. His friends were musicians too. When they came to the setup, they saw how organized I was on time. I was making sure that everything was good. They were impressed by my efforts. They also called me by the side. Ah, I like the way they move now. I shoot my video self now. So, you know, well, how much you get? 300, bring them. From there, his friends saw it. So if that was our first, or that one was in Babcock. The video dropped. All the artists in Babcock then, it was not like a thing. So I first of all conquered students. So among the carcass and everything, I started shooting for all of them. From there, I got a proper artist. At least even on our X S list, you never know, even B list. I see one artist. So from there, videos were consistently going on TV. And that was it. Since then it's just been I'm here, I want to leave an impact. I mean, mind you, there's no competition. This is art. We are all here to create. You need to own your art. Own your art. Somebody say, own your art. You understand? It's very, very important. So it was just a mindset that, yo, every time I go on set every day, I'm going on set to shoot the video of the year. I'm not going there to shoot video for to just entertain anybody. So there's a difference. I don't know. Some people think differently, but that is my own mindset. I'm not out there to joke. And that has also helped my own clients because that gives my clients a lot of confidence and it also boosts the career of my clients because once you are as, as an artist you are able to um put out quality videos it boosts your career and for this automatically people want to shoot with you with this money going to chase you if you are not in demand yet still keep working so first of all put a demand in yourself do you understand make a self demand that you want to be in demand then when you start being in demand then you cannot start saying okay this is it this is it but that does not mean you don't know there's a difference between knowing your what and do you understand is a thin line. I mean, I think to a certain level, I've been able to um, 
touch through some few elements um, about my life and the work in general. Right now, we are in world domination, you feel me? So, be ready for the new TJ Omori coming soon. <laughs> Hang out with TG Omori at Pefty Film Institute. FT, bringing out the star. Let's do five questions quickly, you know. Let's wrap on. What could this? What could this? What is your creative process like, sir? One thing I do when I'm conceptualizing or when I'm thinking, you, you want to stand out, you need to think. If people are thinking like this, you need to think like this. They say, think outside the box. May I think opposite the box? If you do, um, you see that it breaks you or uh, it makes you because as much as you're trying to be very abstract and different it has to be consumable everything is possible you just need to find a hack you understand so i just look for how to hack it you know and then boom i go on set and then i create magic how do you charge a client for a shoot based on your current price or after weighing the client or label status there's no price for art so the better the budget the better the art before i used to look for an artist that would give me 100 million and then i found david now i'm looking for one that will give me one million dollars if you don't see 100 million collect one million you understand so as i said there's no price for art just depending on what you're trying to achieve what is the biggest challenge you have come across the challenges are part of the business. I never really count them as challenges, you know. It just, it always comes, you just find a way to. The ability to manage this, because those challenges are the things that I've been able to fall a lot of great people. So the ability to maneuver through all of them is why you are successful. It, it happens in businesses everywhere, you understand? So to me, anytime people ask me the challenges I face, I mean, definitely you're going to face people coming late. It's Nigeria, they'll say traffic. It cut time if be 10 o'clock, maybe people come 4 p.m. Make up your mind that you I want to be I want to be great in life. If you have that in mind, every challenge is now it's part of it just be like Thanos, now part of the ring. You don't set to this on tap and for there until the next. One is asking if they can enter and under you. Now just Steve you know, the see me, all of us now guys. So if I come up for here, they are the good be inside my room, just the edit. Like it's not that they understand like i'm just a chilled guy yes from time to time i do invite people to come and say come learn i feel like this is our work here yeah? if you want to learn come to a film school that's why there's a film school here learn go out there do your research be great you don't need to help somebody carry back 12 years go buy a mala for shit let be let be mechanic work they understand that's the same thing that i didn't learn from nobody Immediately like graduated from here i go enter streets if, if I shoot sport today, I go, go YouTube, go say, why is my shot, why does my shot have too much green? Google. Why is there so much noise? Google tell me, oh, you don't go open a patch with the sea goes to. <laughs> tomorrow, I'll cut down. I'll correct a patch tomorrow. Next tomorrow, I'll go see, say, ah, the video too dark. They'll say, oh, you don't too dark, or you need to use two more lights. You don't understand? So like, I'm very open from time to time to invite some of us to come on set if you just want to come and have set experience, you know, once once. The power to your success lies in your hands and your dedication and your ability, like, it's, it's in your hands, especially now. If it was in 2002, you can still give an excuse where there's no internet. At your spend time, if you see me, if I did my phone like this, if I know the Pinterest, I did Google or I did YouTube or I did... You understand? Research not just on internet, also research yourself. Be in the conversation. If they talk about Tupac, fit talk. If they talk about 50 Cent, fit talk. If they talk about movie, fit talk. Like Nedio, watch them. Animal, say, Tortoise, watch them. Just watch something, engage yourself. Don't be idle. Don't sit down and press phone. Press phone. <laughs> Make sure you are researching. You are going to need every, in this creative industry, you are going to need every single knowledge you find every possible knowledge so no knowledge is a waste be very very intentional with everything you take in for me if i shoot video finish like this i'll call on my boys say if not if if i hear say it makes it because i'll blow your teeth <laughs> what don't you like in this shot like you need to find some like you have to be a hard critique like criticize your art by yourself before even putting it out there like you need to be I'm not, I'm not saying you should be so hard on yourself, but be real to yourself. It will help you a lot. Like, know when to stand up. Know when to say no. Know when to say yes. 
Thank you very much for all the you understand. I think that's that has answered all our questions, yeah. What